Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Don and welcome back to VR Gamer Dude. So today we're going to be doing something pretty freaking cool. We are going to be testing out a peripheral that is quite possibly one of the best one-to-one -one analogs I've ever seen from a VR controller to its real world counterpart. And that's the Artemis Smart Bow from Wonderfitter. I, th this thing is a full size bow. I can, I can barely fit it all in the frame here at the same time. And you're definitely gonna want some room to play with it, but we're gonna get it unboxed, we're gonna get it set up, and then we're gonna test it out in the one game that it is currently working in, which is Tiny Archers. So can't wait, let's go. So first and foremost, the Artemis Smart Bow exudes quality. This full-size bow feels far from being a toy and offers a sense of realism that I haven't felt in many of the other specialty VR gaming controllers that I've tested over the years. The tactile feedback of drawing the bowstring and releasing what feels like a real arrow contributes significantly to the immersive feeling of playing games like Tiny Archers in VR. Having this real-world action took me deeper into the gameplay and, in a lot of ways, provided a more satisfying and realistic experience. Now, where the Artemis Smartbow shines in upping the immersion to 11, it stumbles in precision. One major drawback for me was the inability to accurately gauge shot power. Regardless of whether you pull the string all the way back or only a short distance, the shot remains unchanged in its speed or distance to target. This undermines any sort of authentic archery feeling experiences and complicates precision distance shooting, skills that are quite frankly essential for firing bow and arrow. Another annoyance is the representation of the bow in both the Wonderfitter app and Tiny Archers. And what I mean by this here is that the string is constantly shown in the fully drawn position on screen in all the apps that I tried to play. This led me to grab the wrong spot repeatedly 
and inconsistency in all of the grabbing and missing of my shots, well, it broke immersion a lot and really kind of got me frustrated. Additionally, the Artemis Smart Bow currently only supports Tiny Archers and the Wonderfitter app, which is a significant limitation. Compounding this issue, the Wonderfitter app isn't functioning properly on the Quest 3 right now, and when I tried it, tracking issues and the inability to use the bow to activate any of the game modes pretty much made the app unusable, although Tiny Archers runs completely smoothly. The Wonderfitter app does currently work on the Quest 2, and I've been assured by Wonderfitter that they are aware of the issues and are currently working on a fix. So if you only own a Quest 3 right now and decide to get one of these bows, just be aware that you're going to be limited to a single game at the moment. Now, despite these critiques, I've got to say, playing Tiny Archers with the Artemis Smart Bow is a completely enjoyable experience, and I found myself genuinely entertained and deeply immersed for hours. My only real concern with this bow currently is the limited availability of supported games, but thankfully Wonderfitter is in discussions with several developers, including Augmented Defender, Bobots, and Nosebleed Interactive. Even with its current state being less than perfect, be because it really does feel like you're drawing and shooting a bow, I genuinely believe this accessory could be one of the most immersive VR controllers out there. All right, so, you know, I gotta say, this thing is incredible and frustrating at the same time. And, and what I mean is, is that I love the immersion that this bow brings in that game. I, I totally feel like I am pulling back and shooting and firing a bow and arrow. What I don't like about it is the fact that, and this is a, probably a simple fix for, for Wonderfitter or Tiny Archers or whoever, just make the in-game model this, where, where it is not drawn back. Currently, the in-game model is that. And what that causes is that causes me to reach for the bowstring back here in the game because that's my visual cue rather than knowing just instinctively to reach forward to draw back again. So that is my biggest critique and, and it's an easy, easy fix. I, I know there's really no way to track the string. I really wish there was because, you know, firing distance is another thing as well. If I pull back like that, it should just, you know, arch. And if I really hammer it, it should fly. Well, unfortunately, you're not going to get that with this generation of bow. That's not to say that that couldn't come in an upgrade down the line. Who knows what they've got in store. But for this generation, would I recommend it for you? So absolutely, if, if you are a hardcore VR enthusiast, you're okay with the fact that it currently only works with its own app in a Quest 2, coming to Quest 3 soon, and it only works in one game currently, which is Tiny Archers, but more on the way, I would recommend it. It's, it's not a super expensive accessory. It's not a super cheap accessory either. So if you've got disposable income, you want to go deeper down that rabbit hole and you love archery, you cannot get better currently than the Wonderfit Artemis bow. So, I don't know. I'll have a link for it in the description. So if you want one, head over there, check it out. And if you feel it's right for you, grab one. But for me, that's going to do it. I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.